Head coach Jay Spoonauer is with us. And Jay, you've got, after have, coaching really a 10-man team all of last year, you've got certainly a, a, a bigger team in numbers and a bigger team in terms of size right now. Yeah, that was kind of the idea, at least have enough to practice with. You know, we had our moments last year where we were playing five on five or four on four or whatever it was and, and uh, didn't have many subs in practice. So now we've got quite a few guys and there's not a lot of separation right now. And I don't think there usually is at this time. I mean, I think that your returning guys are usually the ones that, you know, have got an idea what's going on. And then the other guys eventually catch up. Um, we've got, with us, we're, we're playing, going to play differently than we played last year. A lot of it will be the same, but, but the speed of the game will be different. And so the returning guys have, they have an advantage just because they know kind of what drives me crazy and what doesn't. But there are some new things that it's you know that they don't have an advantage on. Um, so it's uh, it, it's just a matter of trying to blend all these guys in and figure out who can do what. You talked about a different style of play. You'll try to play a little bit faster this year. Well, you you always you play as fast as the team will allow you. You know, we we started last year trying to play a fairly you know normal looking game, and that got adjusted about three games in. That we realized that we better t take this air out of us a little bit. And so you want to go fast because the faster you go, the better chance you have that the other team's not going to be back down there. Um, it just becomes, okay, how fast can we play and not fire it into the stands, not travel, not turn it over. And we're searching for that right now. I mean, we've got, we're, we're, we're trying to get it up and down the floor and we've got guys that, you know, at this point we're turning it over too much. But if you polled every coach in the country, We'd all be turning it over too much. None of us are at a point where we can think about beating any other team. It's just a matter of, okay, can you cut these things out of your game? And that's what these guys all have to learn. I mean, it's, it takes time. You've got 17 guys, I think, on the roster, but there's a three-man returning nucleus that will, will, be, will be familiar to the, uh, to the fans. Yeah, Pipe, uh, Pipe and Sherm and Alex both played, or all played a lot last year. And I don't think that they'll play as much this year. I mean, they had to play out of necessity last year. They, they all played at 30 minutes or a little bit above, and that's too much. And um, so they, they, it'll be probably a, a nice respite for them not to have to play all the time. Um, but I think early in the year, those guys, along with Keenan, you know, Keenan Anderson didn't play as much last year. I think he played six or seven minutes. But there's things that Keenan does that, that I really like, and there are things that he does that can help you win games. I mean, he's a really active guy. Uh, but Alex has looked really, really good, shooting the ball well. Pipe looks like pipe, you know, what you're, everybody's used to seeing. And Sherm, uh, you know, is, is on the, was on the all-newcomer team last year, and he's preseason all-conference. And he's playing like that guy. He's playing like a guy that – that is sort of taking charge of stuff, and that's what that's what we need. Will his role be the same because you've got more big guys now, to where he doesn't have to be the biggest guy on the floor like he was a lot of times last year. No, and he worked on that this year during the summer. I mean, he shot the ball a lot, and you know the whole thing is it's like getting a new toy. You know, you go out and work on your jump shot all summer, and then you come in the first couple of days of practice and you want to try it out. Well, he doesn't need to turn into a jump shooter, but there were times there were games last year where teams didn't guard him. And, you know, he didn't feel 100% confident in his shot. Now he does. And as long as he's not searching for him, and it's just something that he can hold back and say, okay, if they don't guard me, I can make it, uh, that's a good thing. But, yeah, he is going to – I mean, there will be times that he will – I'm not a numbers guy in terms of you're the three, you're the four. But he's playing more like a guard, which he probably needed to do. We're talking with Eastern's men's basketball coach, Jay Spoonauer. You've got a lot of new faces then. How do they figure to, to mix into this blend? Well, there's, you know, at this point, you said 17 guys, and it, and it is, and I'm saying, like, right now, 15 of them have a viable shot at getting out there. Everybody at this point, and I think that this is a typical thing, guys want to show the coach or whatever, show the other players, hey, I can make this play. And when you do those things in the summer, they work because nobody's playing defense. No, there's no help defense. Nobody's trapping. Nobody's doing anything. Well, now you start, if you beat your man, you're running into somebody, and you're going to run into help defense, and you're going to end up making bad plays. So we have a lot of the new guys trying to do too much and making bad plays sprinkled in there are some pretty good plays. So what you've got to try to do is get those good plays out of them and say, hey, let's, let's see if we can hold those other ones in abeyance for a while and, and, and try, to, try to make solid plays that win games. 
but there are 15 guys right now that shoot they can come in and do something I keep reading about the, they're going to officiate games differently. They're going to crack down on the hand check and that sort of stuff this year. And do you think that's going to happen, and does that change the way you coach in practice? They say it is, so you better take them at their word. Um, you know, they, there was a few years ago in the NBA that they did this, and everybody went crazy because they called fouls all over the place and it made everybody mad. And I think it'll be that way now. I think they will call it closer, and I think people will be mad. I think that eventually it will probably clean the game up to where people like I mean when you talk to folks anybody who's over the age of 50 they all say god the game's too rough now the game's too rough and it's true uh, if you're trying to win games and the officials would allow you to do it like they always have yeah you just knock the tar out of folks you know and you would put your hands on them and you push them it does ugly the game up um, and so I think that what they're really saying right now is hey look if a guy's got a dribble and he's going at the goal you can't put a hand on him well, that makes it really hard to defend. But I think that what they're going for is more good-looking plays. I mean, I, the scoring has gone down every year. And you can debate what the reasons are for that. But I know that if they call the fouls they're talking about calling, which is any time a guy drives, if he's touched, it's a foul. And they're talking about the secondary defender. Like if a guy comes over to help, there would probably take too many charges taken. Um, they're trying to eliminate some of those. They want you to make plays defensively. So. Yeah, I think you take them at their word, and I think that early in the year, folks are going to be like, what What in the world? We shot 47 free throws, and we shot 10 less than the team we were playing. You start three weeks from today. You're at Northwestern to start. You're at Purdue early on. The schedule's uh, pretty interesting early. Yeah, probably probably a little too hard, uh, but it's a good it's a good schedule. You know, I mean, the the this group, we're talented enough that we can think about, and I think the guys feel the, the that we can go play, that I think we feel like we're pretty good. We're not yet. I think we could get there. Um, but the, the games we had, you mentioned Purdue and Northwestern. You, I mean, Western Kentucky was in the NCAA tournament. Indiana State, an NCAA tournament team, uh, they're coming here. That's a really good home game for us. Um, you know, you've got, of course, Western Illinois again. Uh, we, we've, going to, we've got Cleveland State. we got Wright State, who was one game away from the NCAA tournament. So you've really got hard games, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, I mean, we could really be a, a, pretty, a much better team, which I think we will be, and the wins may not reflect it. But I think that for us, you judge it on what you do in the league. And um, if we can get ourselves to where we are at 500 or above in the league, then we're showing progression and we're taking strides. And I'm not going to cap us at that because I think we, there's a chance that we could really, really do well. I'm, I'm really happy with the way everybody's going at it. So um, I don't, I'm not going to put any, any restrictions on it. We could, we could go do anything we want to do. All right. Thanks for the time. Good luck. Yep. You bet.